I'm back. Um, just wanted to do a follow-up video. I know I just did a video on um, what I do to prepare to wash my hair and how I condition after I wash my hair, but I didn't go into any detail about how I fix my hair after um, complete, I've completed the wash process. Um, which it may seem like it takes a long time for me to wash my hair, but it really doesn't. Um, <clears throat> especially, you know, and I always say this, but I have purified water, so I don't spend a lot of time conditioning my hair, deep conditioning my hair, and yet it's still soft. I just do the steamer or deep condition on occasions, and sometimes after I use henna. Um, but anyway, I just wanted to go into some detail about how I fix my hair. I really don't do a whole lot after I wash my hair because I kind of really don't have a lot of time. But um, just to let you know, I use the microfiber towels. This particular one I got from I got from Ann's Linen because they had them on sale, and it is one that they make for dogs. I don't have any dogs, so I'm not using it for dogs, but it's the same material that um, I think Diva Curl uses. I mean, it feels the same. My daughter, she went out and bought the $12 Diva Curl towel, and I bought these for like $4.99. They were on uh, clearance, but and I have three, but this is what I always use. I don't um, have to... Uh, manipulate my hair with microfiber towels. I just wrap it and press to get water out like this and then bam my hair is as dry as I want it to be to put it in two strand twists which is what I'm basically going to do right now. Um, so First things first, we got to use our leave-in conditioner. I'm going to put about this amount of leave-in conditioner in to seal in the moisture. All that wonderful moisture that we just got from steaming. Oh, don't have to use a whole lot of this at all. My hair is already moisturized, but I pretty much don't go without using some leave-in. I'm take my twists out as I go along. As you can see, I left twists in my hair as I rinsed out the conditioner. <clears throat> it just makes it a lot easier to deal with. And the time I took to detangle my hair last night and pre poo with the aloe vera mix that I created along with the Fatica, well, Vatica coconut oil. Um, I've had a lot less shedding today. Yeah, it all shedded last night. I haven't washed my hair in over a week. But anyway, this is the, this is how we're gonna get started, so. growing out pretty good. I'm happier today with it than I was, uh, you know, on the previous video after I did the Meconazole Nitrate Challenge because I told you after I got from D.C. I was so ready to wash my hair, but I had just bought the Shikai Kai, and I know that's the wrong way. It's not the way to say it, but I used a bar soap, and it just really broke my hair off. I was so devastated. Anyway, just to show you how my how I can go through and detangle my hair a bit now. See how soft it is and how easy it is to comb. It's just really soft or easy. And if you knew me before, you would know how much of a chore this used to be. But now. It's not so bad. Anyway, the twists I'm gonna do, 
they're not going to be as neat because I really just want to put some up here. Um, I'm going to wear a twist out. Um, so I don't make them all super neat. This is the first time I've ever done a, a braid out, so we'll see how it turns out. In the meantime, um, oh, and to let you know what products I used, hmm, let's see. Okay, the products that I used to do my braid today is the aloe vera uh, gel, Trader Joe's aloe vera gel, and the Curly Q Jelly Seed gel that I like. Um, I think this is for children's hair, but... Like I mentioned before, I think my hair is so soft now. It's like a child. It's like a child's hair. It's so soft, and this doesn't really give me any curl pattern or anything. But it does make my hair easier to comb. So that's good. And the final thing I put on it because my hair is so soft that it doesn't have any weight to it. Even though I use henna, I really kind of don't have a curl pattern anymore. But that's okay with me. Um, it still curls on the end like it used to when I had locks. So I don't know how this braid out is going to turn out. But I used Dax, uh, which there's a big rave about Dax. And I had some in the house, you know, my sons use it. And um, it actually does pretty good if you use moisturizer with it. Uh, I think back in the day... When I used to do my daughter's hair, I mean, all I had was grease, you know. That's what I used to braid her hair. And this is really how I used to do her hair. I would wash it and braid it up and take the braids out to comb it and style it into a ponytail or however I styled it. But this is pretty much how I did her hair when she was a little girl. Um, but I did not have... The knowledge I have now about moisturizers and conditioners, leave-in conditioners, so it was just straight petroleum. Now, I don't have any of my Coco Shea Souffle. I ran out, so I'm using the petroleum as a seal for the oil. So the product, well, the order for sealing my hair is wash, um, hold, seal in the moisture with a moisturizing conditioner, leave-in conditioner, seal it with an oil, which I didn't really use an oil this time. I used the aloe vera gel, and because I know that the pH is low, I just kind of used that, and then sealed it with the uh, Dax. So that's it. I will come back and probably show you how it turns out when I take it out in a couple of days because I am not going anywhere for a couple of days. Okay? So you all... 